senior director of the Broad River Business Alliance. And uh, this area lets out on uh, from the river into this community. I'm running for Senate District 19 because we understand that there is a broken down uh, many layers of communication between the state and other municipal levels of government. It has been incredibly difficult to get anything done because many of our residents are unaware of the process. You don't know what's going on in the state house because that is by design. My job as one of the foremost data analysts in the Midlands has been to uncover the hard truths when it comes to policy, especially those that are causing toxic industry and issues in our community, for us to gain more insight into the obstruction that occurs in a government that sits on Gervais Street that's over $40 billion in debt and with a little over $25.5 billion to cover that debt. So it, it can be difficult for those of us community members who are working to create density in communities like this when you have a state housing agency that says, hey, we won't give you those tax credits uh, for you to be able to build LIHEC or LMI uh, compatible housing because you're too far away from a food source. One of the things that we've been sitting doing as a community development corporation is trying to figure out how do we build more small business and how do we also incorporate that in mixed use development where they can uh, coexist in harmony, where we can ensure that we can in fact continue making room for our young people to stay here after college, not just go away and give their talent to other people, but how do we make sure that our communities are viable, bright, and very vibrant? And let me tell you something, the state house is one of the biggest obstructions to that low level development that we want to be able to see. The state controls those mechanisms. And from the federal government all the way down to the city of Columbia, we all see the pattern that has been existing for over 30 years. We saw $2.9 billion from the American Rescue Plan Act. Where did a lot of that money go? When we look at purchasing cards, we see over 5,000 instances of Amazon Marketplace with no oversight of who that went to and what it was and how was that money spent. Every time we talk about how to develop a community, for some reason, we don't really want to talk like it costs money to be able to do that. We don't want to talk about why, how come everything has been the same way that it's been for 30 years. My grandmother and the elders in this community, as I have walked it many a time as a student when I came here, have said, how is it that we continue to think as elders that we're going to get anything different doing the same exact thing over and over and over again? When Chief William Skip Holbrook told us, standing in Bethel a &E Church, that we are losing a generation, including those children that's in this community. And why are we losing it? Because we as a community need to come together to put a lot more pressure on the state house. Because, have you heard of the talk about things have to roll downhill? Well, the stuff that we get that rolls downhill is never really good for us. The stuff that we get that rolls downhill, we expect the lo local government to be able to address those concerns. When yet, the state of South Carolina is sitting on big cash. And when we track where that money is going, and we, when, we, when we track who is spending that money, and every time we look at when we have an ask, we get ignored, and how come every time we have a concern, it falls on deaf ears? We have to send a freshman senator into the state house. Now, I ain't gonna be before you long, but just I, I just want to be honest with you. Can't we do that? Amen. You're not sending no senior senator up in the state house. We sweeping the caboose with this seat. Losing John Scott was difficult for even me because we did lose a giant. Because when you're in the state house, the best way to be able to get things done is to have seniority to be able to get it done. The candidate that I am is not dragging in, sweeping up the caboose. The candidate that I am for the state house is making sure that we give Democrats in the state house something that they can use. We don't want to get into the state house and then fall right into place. The Democrats are struggling in our government center right now. We need young, vivacious people that have been in the trenches that are able to source the money that we need in the private sector to do the work that must be done. This is a freshman seat that we are seeing on October the 24th. That means that I'm going to have to work 10 times harder than everybody else to get the job done. Now, I leave you with this. On October the 24th, you can vote as you always have. Uh -huh. But don't expect to get anything more than what you've always got. Uh -huh. Thank you. Send a freshman senator that knows what's going on, that has been tracking the money, that understands exactly the obstruction, that understands and is willing to call those people out, including in our own party that have not been reliable people to bring us the information that we need. Oh, 
I've been here training the seniors and the children and been able to work with private sector investment. And this community is one of those communities, Queen, that really real estate investors are saying, Jabari, the work that you've been doing on Broad River has made a difference. Yeah. We've created over 175 jobs on Broad River. And every time something happens over there, it impacts this community too. Yeah. Every time something goes on on Broad River, they lump us all together and make yeah. it seem like we just a certain yeah. kind of people without coming into our yeah. communities just to understand that we love, yeah. that we're a community too, and we deserve the kind of positive uh, reporting that does not compound our trauma and lump us all together and make us look bad. Yeah to take the attention off of the qualities that exist and have existed for the last 175 years in these communities. Um, there is a way out, there is a way amen. through. Yes, On October the 24th, I guarantee you yes. that I am the one that can get it done. God bless you. Bless you.